Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. I am Stephen FM. We are taking a look at Nuno Mendes today. He is a youngster, a Portuguese youngster, 20 years old, sitting in PSG. 50 million to 151 million. That should tell you right off the bat, he's going to be hard to get. 34 and a half K per week as a squad player though. But he's got some very good physicals, as you can see. Acceleration and pace, natural fitness are all fantastic. Uh, and his technicals aren't bad either. He's got a couple of 14s in there, some 13s and 11s. So he's got some room to grow. Uh, passing of 13 is wonderful, but could definitely grow a little bit. Tackling of 14 for that left back position. Dribbling, first touch. I mean, he's got a lot of great things. Mentally, a lot of 12s, 13s. He's got a 14 there in determination. So leadership, not great. Heading, not great. He definitely has a little bit of room to grow, but I mean, the next 10 years are going to be crucial. So we'll check it out in a minute. Career milestones. He's at PSG. So obviously League One Conferama champions. Uh, he's got his first international cap. I think he had 15 caps that we saw there. He came from Sporting. So he's got some winner medals there. First senior club debut, made a senior club or his first senior goal and all that. So he's done well so far, but let's check him out in the next 10 years. season at the end of the 33 season still at PSG he is 30 years old 99 caps and only a single goal uh, I mean as a left back who you know you don't expect much but still contracted to PSG like I said 55 to 165 million right now making 275k per week as a regular starter you can see I mean his physicals are still fantastic anticipation has grown composure concentration decisions are all really nice Marking of 13, passing has grown to 14, first touch 15, crossing of 15, so he's still got a lot of fantastic stats. His potential is a negative 9 in the new database or the winter update database. So, I mean, clearly a negative 9 is going to be a fantastic player right off the bat. Even at the lower end is probably about 160 to 170. So he, I mean, it's going to be starters no matter where you go uh, for the most part. Unless, of course, he's injury prone or anything like that, but in this case... I'm guessing he's getting a lot of playing time. 23 plus one appearances for the league. Uh, three assists, 7-2-7, a fantastic outing. 16 in the Champions League, 7-2-6. So he's doing really well. Career stats, as you can see, he was starting out at Sporting, made a loan with a £6 million pound loan to PSG. And then the year after, £34.5 million moved to PSG. Has done very well ever since. Only one season under seven and yeah well i mean not well under seven but everything else is pretty far above seven seven ten is pretty nice seven twelve and all that and all the way up to 740 yeah he's had a fantastic career at psg no question about it so looking at his trophy cabinet it is stock full of pretty much everything you could possibly imagine uh, i mean league one conferama champions and coupe de france winners you've got champions through France, no matter what. I mean, everywhere you go. But League One Uber Eats Player's Most Promising Player Award. So he's got some personal ones as well. So Trophy de Champion. All these wonderful things as you would expect PSG to do. You've got Champions League Young Player of the Season. Uh, some more personal accolades. FIFA Club World Cup winners. FIFA World Cup winners. So he's got some on the Portugal stage, the international stage as well. So, I mean, it's it's crazy what he's got. Champions League Defender of the Season, Champions League winners. He's got pretty much everything. Now, injury-wise, I mean, sadly, it's pretty much the same story. He's got a little bit of everything. You can see he's got a ton of injuries all the way back to the 2021 season. Uh, the good news, though, slights and minors, a couple of moderates here and there. Only one major sprained knee ligaments. So, it doesn't look like he's going to be missing too many matches, which is nice to see. And then tactically, just to see, as a wing back on the left side, seven international appearances, one assist, 716 average rating. For the club, though, 43 in the left back position, 727 average rating. One in the midfield left position, 710 average rating. So overall, I mean, still fantastic. But that left back is primarily where he's going to be, except on the international stage where he's kind of a wing back. So uh, he can play in both naturally. Great to see he does have a little bit of versatility. I love having the left back and center back abilities. So 
Yeah, I definitely, definitely suggest looking at this kid. He's going to be expensive, though. So with all of that mentioned, let's head off to when he retires and see how he ends up. Well, the end of the 2038 season seems to be when he retires in this save, and he is at lead. So he finally made, actually made a couple of moves already, but you can see he's grown quite a bit. I mean, his physicals have dropped no matter what. Anticipation of 17, concentration of 17, fantastic crossing and first touch of 16s, passing of 15, marking of 14. He's got a lot of fantastic stats still. Definitely is able to play for a little while longer at 35 years old. I mean, hell, Messi is lighting up Miami right now, and he's, what, 35 years old? So there's no reason that, I mean, even with some of these bad physicals, I mean, his pace, 11, acceleration, 13, there's no reason he couldn't move on to somewhere else. But this is where he retires, plans to retire on 7-12-2038. Uh, and, yeah, he's still looking pretty nice. I mean, even in the millions in the asking price, not too bad. So you can see he did move from PSG to Arsenal on loan, came back to PSG, moved to Man City on a free, did very well, probably as a squad player, maybe a fringe player. They had an, an injury or something like that. Uh, Man City the next season, yeah, definitely dwindling in, in games. Leeds on a free then, 32 appearances, 6-9-7 in the Premier League. Still, I mean, 6-6-6, six, 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 not great. But overall, 6-9-7, not too bad. 7-2-3, fantastic. Uh, he's definitely had a fantastic career. I'm a little surprised he's calling it quits now instead of finding another year somewhere else. But this is FM. This isn't actual real life. Uh, who knows? Maybe the you know the MLS or Saudi Arabia these days don't want these players because they're a little on the older side and definitely dwindling. But overall, he's had a fantastic career. PSG through and through. Definitely a you know a stalwart in that system. Uh, and he's looking great. So, but that is it for the career of Nuno Mendes. I am Safian FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy. Mm -hmm.